he's going to sit in jail for the rest of his life. We, on the other hand, are going to move forward. We are going to live our best lives because we are fighters and we are strong. And we overcome impossible odds because that's what we were trained to do. My family and I were distraught with grief. To have your name and your face and your story out for everybody to see is a scary thing. How did it feel to look him in the eyes and tell him what you felt? It was really hard. I didn't know he was going to be that close. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's that close. And then you stand there and he's five feet away from you. As a teacher, I'm my kids. Like their strength, their encouragement, their rock, their safe place, their go-to, their protector. And that's how I felt with him, that he was my safe place. He was going to protect me. He was going to make sure I didn't hurt. And he took that and he used that against all of us. Good morning. My name is Kyle Stevens. Perhaps you have figured it out by now, but little girls don't stay little forever. They grow into strong women that return to destroy your world. Where did that strength come from, do you think, to be able to stand there and do what so many women could only dream of doing? It comes from overcoming this. I mean, anyone who's been through significant pain, once you find it within yourself to pick yourself up and figure out how you're going to get through this and how you're going to be happy again, that builds character and that builds strength. And you're able to use that to then stand up and do, do something like that. I was approximately six years old that Larry Nassar began to sexually abuse me. He first exposed his penis to me in a dark boiler room in the basement of his home. He told me, if you ever want to see it, all you have to do is ask. How angry do you feel about the fact that not only did he sexually abuse you, but he sexually abused you when you were so vulnerable? Children just don't understand. You know, they don't understand what's going on and he doesn't understand that not only are you taking advantage of them in that moment, but then you have put in front of them this path for the rest of their lives where they have to figure out um, their place in all of that and justify to themselves that they shouldn't be ashamed, justify to themselves that they didn't participate in the abuse, and justify to themselves that because of all those things, I feel worthless, but I am worthy. Thank you for being here this morning. Could you please stay and stop? I will continue to heal, and I will continue to stay strong, knowing I have a bright future ahead of me. All your future holds, all you get to look forward to now is rotting in prison for the rest of your life. And all you will ever feel now, Larry, is forever powerless. You know, Dr. Nasser is a monster, but those people around him that have been protecting him, those are real monsters too, and they need to be held accountable as well. And what would you like to see USA Gymnastics do? Uh, probably get decertified. I think they need to be decertified and just start all over unless the policies change and unless they're serious about it, unless they start putting the athlete first. Not even the athlete, the person, the child, but the person first. I mean, we have futures after gymnastics.